Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about day two of Summer Heat. EA dropped a madness. They We, we, we wanted to know, is EA going to continue the hype that we saw from day one of Summer Heat? They absolutely did with the content that came out on day two. I'm going to have to just go look at this loading screen again just to even remember all the content that we got today. Crazy amounts of hype today in FIFA Ultimate Team with pack supply SBCs, with upgrade packs, with the prime icon upgrade, which is changing this market, and of course, the Summer Heat fan vote, including Mr. Ryan Kent, the rat himself, is definitely going to be winning this vote, and we're going to be seeing a Ryan Kent SBC on Saturday. So they said uh, earlier today when they put the vote out that they were going to be releasing that SBC on Saturday, so there's a two-day wait time just like in the years past with the footies vote. So basically, again, this just confirms to me that I think uh, this promo, Summer Heat, is taking over uh, for the footies promo. That is what I'm feeling. That is what I'm sensing right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. So just to go over the content that we got today, because seriously, we're going to talk about the market. We're going to talk about everything that happened today. Uh, there's tons to talk about because EA dropped a madness. Again, uh, a masterclass, madness, whatever you want to call it. Today, we got the 81 plus upgrade double, which has been giving out really good cards, 82 to 88, which has been giving out good cards, and then the prime icon upgrade as well, which the biggest W for this uh, is that this is actually decently affordable. 88 rated squad with one tots team of the week or moments player, 55 chemistry is not that much either. People went hard on these SBCs today, just like all the other times throughout the year this year, when they put out an icon upgrade pack, people go hard and that was no different today. So what happens when an SBC like this comes out, right? I tweeted today at 6 p.m. UK when I saw this SBC. I said RIP market because uh, you're not going to see the direct effects of all of this today. Yes, you did see some prices go down. Uh, you know, some cards that I had firsthand experience today um, that people sold. Because what happens is when you have an SBC like this, especially at this stage of the game people are uh wow this card this card actually rebounded back up a decent amount 370 this card earlier today was 330,000 coins he went from 390 to 330 340 and is now back up to 370 that's what happened with a lot of cards like right now some cards are rising back up from a lot of the panic that happened around 6 p.m uk today because people see an sbc like that they have no coins they have to go sell cards to go do the sbc uh, and then they also go panic sell their icons and then you see stuff start to rebound and you see stuff start to come back up later in the nighttime um, But again, the major thing that I'm gonna get across to you guys today and the major point that I want to have is a Lot of coins were lost on the FIFA ultimate team transfer market today Millions and millions of coins were lost because I see so many people on Twitter tweeting out that they're doing not just one, not just two prime icon upgrades, but they're doing three, they're doing four, five, six. Some people have done like 10 plus of these SBCs because of all the fodder that they have in their club. And this is perfectly timed by EA Sports with all the other summer heat SBCs that are coming to drain all the fodder out of people's clubs now so they have to go out and spend more coins or the SBCs coming later. So, you know, GG's to EA on the perfect timing of this SBC to try to clear out people's clubs. So, this is up for five weeks. There's no real hurry in doing this prime icon upgrade SBC, right? Of course, it's it's fun to hit a few right off the bat and to try a few out and to hit one. I did one tonight. Uh, who did I get? I got somebody that wasn't good. Uh, I don't even... Ooh, I got Prime Makalele, who I already have the moments version on Tradable. Um, but people are hammering this SBC and it showed today. If you were a person that invested in SBC fodder, um, especially on the higher tier, right? A lot of these TOTS cards that were like 83, like 90s and up rated, these guys boomed today. Like Hideki is 72,000 coins. I don't know how cheap this guy was before, but I don't think he was as cheap. Yeah, he was 40,000 coins while he was in packs, started rising up this past week and was even like 61K today. And now he's 80,000 coins. So if you bought any of these high rated TOTS cards, they really, really, really started to boom. And they really, really exploded today um, because of the TOTS requirement for one. And then just the high rated uh, requirement for that SBC that you needed as well. So that's why you saw a lot of the fodder market push up today. Even 84s and 85s are up um, just because people have so many high rated cards that they're turning in 84s and 85s 
into that 88 rated squad because they have 94 rated team of the uh, season cards and stuff like that. So the major takeaway though from this today from this SBC is that the market is going to the market lost a lot of coins today and the market is going to continue to be losing coins with this SBC out and that is going to make the crash and the sell off for this weekend. It's going to make it pretty severe. I think we're going to see a very severe weekend league sell off crash uh, on all of these cards, whether it's a mid tier card uh, or whether it's a high tier card like this uh, headliner name are a lot of people are asking when do I want to buy this card. Honestly, if you're if you want to buy any of the special cards that are in packs right now, the longer that you wait seriously is going to be the better because there's going to be a massive drop off this weekend and they're still in packs for another basically two weeks. So they're going to continue to drop in this market. They're just going to continue to go down. That's how I envision basically everything this weekend. So if you've got cards that are still up in price that you want to take the coins for, you want to take the coins and get liquid, or you just want to have some coins to work with, um, I would take the coins on some stuff this weekend, even team of the season cards, right? Even some team of the season cards, because uh, people lost a lot of coins today and they're going to want to have coins to be doing the other SBCs that are going to be coming this week. I mean, think about it. We got the Ryan Kent SBC uh, basically confirmed today because uh, of the the vote that was put out. Like that Ryan Kent SBC is going to be coming on Saturday, right? How much is that SBC going to cost? EA can make that SBC cost whatever they want to and people are going to go out and do it, right? People are going to go out do that SBC. It's going to be probably a little bit expensive and everybody's going to do it, right? But we're going to still continue to get um, cards and SBCs um, and, you know, continually get like the, what, what else did they say was going to happen during this promo? Like, let me find the, uh, let me find the official promo page and, and look at this really quick. The other SBCs that they were going to put out, right? Uh, Summer Heat fan favorites. A selection of popular foot favorites are coming back. Uh, will be released at the new previous SPC and objective special versions now with boosted stats. So the selected summer heat favorites can be um, SBCs and special items. So let's say they would re-release some sort of SBC. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example. Let's say they re-release SBC like Bastion Schweinsteiger from way earlier in the year. That's just maybe not the most hype example, but that's an example. And they boost them from an 88 rated card to like a 94. Like that's the type of SBC we could see that would hype a lot of people up. Again, so much of this promo is based around SBCs and the need for you in your club to have SBC fodder. So EA is trying to supply the market with some tradable, some tradable packs and trying to, you know, supply some of this fodder on the market so that it's just not going extinct. They did release a tradable SBC today. And of course, marquee matchups and marquee moments they put out tradable packs for. So I would can I would continue to expect to see both our SBCs like this come out that are tradable pack rewards. Um, and I would honestly, if I were you guys, if you if they're not too expensive to do, I would take the chance on all of these daily SBCs because a prime electron players pack with the ability that you have to pack multiple special cards in one pack and make profit from an SBC, even a 25K pack, um, I would definitely go out and do it because even right now, like we might have to, we might have to make this a thing during summer heat. Like we just go and open a uh, 7.5 K pack during every video. Cause I did two of them last video and I got two special cards, right? Because this method of like sitting here and opening packs is honestly profitable sometimes. Not this time it looks like, but there's so many special cards that have been re-released back into packs. You can honestly grind like a 5 K and 7.5 K pack method. And a lot of times you can actually make coins, which is crazy. Uh, but that is what it is. So Again, what do I expect to happen today? It's Friday, right? This is normally the hype day where we see a lot of stuff happening on the market, like a promo team coming out. Some people have mentioned to me, do I think we're going to see a promo team today in packs? I don't think we're going to see a promo team today in packs. Uh, that would be crazy if they did. EA has said nothing of the sorts um, in their, uh, like this, this page here about Summer Heat. They've said nothing about a team coming into packs. So I don't expect it. I don't think it's going to happen. But, um, you know, I do expect EA to drop some sort of content today, whether that is another SBC. Um, maybe they're going to do a summer showdown this weekend because it doesn't really give us a, a time for when this is going to start. But they said that each week will highlight one real world football match. So it would make me think that at some point in the next few days, 
we would see a summer showdown item this weekend, which again is SBC related. So again, uh, if EA wants to run lightning rounds, that'd be they've never run lightning rounds for best of re-releases, but uh, I think that people in the game would open packs right now with uh, with FIFA points. Honestly, I think they would just because of all the special cards that are in packs and because of the, just the ability that you have to, you know, make coins from opening packs. If you guys are on the game right now and you want to grind the menus, either grind the upgrade SBCs or league SBCs for the tradable packs. Because I opened I opened like 60 packs tonight from a, a guy that had opened that had saved up a bunch of league SBC packs. And I mean, we packed Tevez, who is actually not even selling at 90K, I figured out. We packed Valencia. And just the opportunity for you to pack a lot of special cards is just is just through the roof. Like, it's just crazy through the roof. And the potential is there um, for a lot of that stuff. So if you want to grind tradable packs, like, this is your perfect time to do it. Like, League SBCs, all that sort of stuff. The Libertadores, the Sud, the Sud what is it, the, the Economy Bowl, Sud Lib, Sud Lib method or whatever it's called. That method right now is probably really, really solid uh, because a lot of those cards are getting packed a bunch in these packs that people are opening. So they're getting supplied at the same time as they have demand. Uh, as we have a nice little capture challenge here to solve for EA Sports. Let's see if we can get this solved pretty quick. That's a two button pusher, 0.9 seconds. Hey, your boy's pretty fast at the capture challenges, boys. All right, just saying, just saying. But uh, yeah, today is the start of Weekend League. Like, we really don't know what else is going to happen today. I would expect, again, maybe a, a showdown SBC. The first one would come today. But I want to talk about this market a little more. And maybe you guys have players, or maybe you're trying to make some coins, right? I actually made a really solid amount of coins today. I sold this Blanc as a Thursday flip before the Icon SBC came out today. 527k for this. I bought him for 440. Uh, I bought this for 230. I actually sold him kind of in the panic today around the, the content drop. Both of these guys sold for weekend league rewards. I bought these guys in the low 300s. Could have held out for more profit. But this is the move. This I bought all these Bruno Fernandezes today. And I want to talk to you guys about this. Because this is a point that we had earlier on in FIFA this year. And I really, really learned from it. In like the October, November stages of FIFA 20. That I think we can learn from. on uh, At this time of the year with this promo. Especially on the weekend all right on the weekend so what i did today was i went out and i bought 15 bruno fernandez because i saw that his graph and i'll look this one up specifically for you guys because this bruno fernandez card is in packs right now as a special card in packs and i saw his graph take a big time dive today with all the um the tradable pack supply that we got so you can see bruno was a 200 and 50,000 coin card on both consoles before he was re-released he went back down to 120 114 Rebounded back up before rewards, got hit with rewards, went down to 110, went back up to 120, and then he got hit again today. He got hit again around the 6 p.m. time frame, 6, 7 p.m. because uh, of the tradable pack supply and just all the focus was on icons. People were selling cards and stuff like that. So basically what I saw here was an opportunity to buy in, and this happened with a lot of special cards today. A lot of special cards got low because people panic sold their teams and stuff they had to go do the prime icon SBCs. And now they have to go buy their teams back for weekend league, which starts today. So that's why you saw a bounce back. So I went out and bought 15 of these Bruno Fernandez right around a hundred thousand coins. And I could have bought even more. And now he's back up to 125, almost hundred and pushing 130,000 coins. Cause this is a pretty, pretty rare card and I'm getting a lot of sales here right around the 120,000 coin range. So I still got a couple left, but that was a move that I made today. And why I, why I'm making that uh, reference to earlier in this year, because I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but so many times, this is why FIFA 20 is the year of supply on the market. So many times earlier this year, FIFA was releasing these pack supply SBCs, which was flooding the market with supply from like six to 8 PM. UK time after the content drop. And then the market was rebounding four or five, six hours later into the nighttime. And it was almost like a thing you could do once or twice a week where EA would release this SBC meta popular cards that people wanted for their teams uh, would just kind of like they'd start here, they'd take a dip and they'd come right back up. It was just crazy um, to see that kind of movement on the market. And that is what I'm learning and seeing here with these cards. It's only going to work after a rewards Thursday, Friday, or possibly Saturday, probably just a Thursday or Friday, but going ahead in the next couple of weeks of this summer heat promo, if it's a Thursday or Friday and there's a lot of panic around the 6 p.m. content drop, 
Watch for panic selling on meta popular cards, especially if they're out of packs, right? You saw me look at Hakimi. You saw me look at Lala. This Lala card, the right back, was getting undercut today at like 330, 340,000 coins. And he's actually, I think now he's back up to like uh, 370 or 380, I think is where this card is at. So we rebounded from 340 to 370, which is a nice rebound. You had tons of cards that had market movements like this today. Again, the Upamakano that I was looking at. I like this guy from day one because of all the Fred, the French links that were to be had uh, with the new Mendy coming out and with the um, Andombele SBC, which a lot of people did. This guy was 315K on Wednesday. Uh, he was 390 this morning where I had my cards listed. They didn't sell. He was 390. He went back down to 330, 340 during all the panic today. And now he's back up to 370. So there are people that are buying buying these cards back for Weekend League because of the new Weekend League rewards that are out. There's still hype and still people grinding this game, especially this weekend for sure. Or today, if there's panic around 6 p.m. today, watch cards like that again. Go through even some of these cards that are in packs had crazy uh, fluctuations today. Like Ribery went down a bunch and now he's kind of popped back up. Headliner Neymar did some of that same thing. There was just a lot of panic. And when when there is panic caused on the market, uh, that is basically caused by people selling cards and teams that they need to get for coins. And then they have to go buy back some sort of team, right? So that's why you did see a rebound on a lot of cards today as well. But again, I still have to give EA a major thumbs up for the content from today. Big time thumbs up for sure. This 81 plus double is out for 10 days in total. And so is the 82 to 88. So we've got stuff to do on the menus for the next couple of weeks. I'm still going to be trading and making some coins as I can on the side because we have to fund the icon pack, the upgrade pack, and the SBC addiction that this promo is going to continue to feed into. Uh, I got to finish David Silva here really soon. I got to finish Andabale because I'm going to play him this weekend in the squad. So I got to do all of that stuff. ASAP as soon as I can uh, so we can get this stuff sorted and so we can keep the club moving and we're going to have a lot of fun in this next couple weeks on the, on the live streams and on the YouTube channel. Lots of fun with these packs, lots of fun with these cards uh, and all the summer heat content that EA does continue to roll out. So again, watch for some market movements today. If you see some panic, the opportunity to flip cards and make some coins on the market will be there, but I would probably expect another SBC related thing today and some tradable packs by EA in some way, shape, or form. That's what I feel would come today as content uh, on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Thursday was a crazy hype day. Let's see if they can back it up. Three days in a row of crazy hype content would be uh, pretty insane. I feel like today kind of has to be a little bit of a step back. Like for Friday, a little bit of a step back from how hype Wednesday and Thursday were. But we'll see what EA has up their sleeve for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.